Oh boy, you guys really did it. You guys really did it. You guys really picked Ocarina of Time. Oh goody. Uh, so, don't be misled by the logo. This is not a Nintendo 64 game. This is being played on the Virtual Console on the Wii U because um, I'm not set up to record a Nintendo 64 game to begin with and I've never owned a copy of Ocarina of Time of any form until just this moment, actually. So, tracking down a 64 copy, and then figuring out how to get the 64 to re record correctly, which I've never been able to do, would be a nightmare. <laughs> and it can't record a D 3DS game either, so we're playing the Wii U version of the Nintendo 64 version, not the 3DS remake. A lot going on here. No pressure, it's just the single most beloved game in the history of video games according to people and the only one opinion of this game is allowed so no pressure not even remotely terrified of the idea that I, people just <laughs> that I'll play this and be like not that into it and then be known as the person who hates Ocarina of Time great because I never played Ocarina of Time ever uh, I, well I briefly picked it up I briefly touched somebody else's copy a few years ago but I've never like owned it or played through it. I have no nostalgia for this game. All I know is I touched the tutorial a little bit. I'm like, this is a very long, very hand-holdy tutorial, and I don't know when the real game starts. And then I just moved on with my life. So this will be an interesting post-Breath of the Wild experience. I just, just, I guess I decided to name him Brick. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri forest the source of life has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee.
Hello, Brick. Wake up. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Brick, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? You finally woke up. I am Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. What do the buttons do right now? Alright, I need to figure out what they are, don't I? I assume it's B-A, although then I need to figure out what the, what the C buttons are. That'll be interesting. Tr trying to figure out how they interpret the controller. I thought they, would, they might, might just make up new prompts. Yahoo! Hi, Brick! Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, Brick. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Brick. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Just out of curiosity, figuring out what the right stick does. Up on the up on the right stick does first person. No other direction. Clicking it? Nope. Interesting. It'd be a bit much to expect them to just straight up give us uh just to give straight up give us access to like uh the ability to look around, because there was no second stick back then. Now it's saying Navi. Okay, so the right stick is the uh, C buttons then. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. I was already going there, but okay. How do I? Nope. That's the. All right. I was like, how do I make the camera face the right way? Oh. Oh right, you auto jump. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mito? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. So, like, is this just all, what you live for? Is this all you have? Oh, the fairies are different colors. Are you the green Power Ranger? Is everybody in this entire town the green Power Ranger? <laughs> That meanie Mito made me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mito told Sari he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. Why? You and Sari are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while cutting it. Why are you doing it? You can just not. Instead... Just let Mito get called out on his crap. When the thing he said he would do doesn't happen. The house of the Great Mito, boss of the Kokiri. Yo, can I go in here and break everything? Oh, cool. Let's take his stuff. We got a rupee. One rupee. You got five rupees. Oops.
five rupees. Recovery heart, your life energy is... Oh. Well, that was already done. Is this a pre-rendered scene? I think this is a pre-rendered scene, and that's why the camera's rotating like that. Like it's not a Breton enough, not a 3D environment or something. Oh, weird. Huh. Yeah, this is all. This is all Five Nights at Freddy's when you have like just a singular, a singular shape that makes up the entire environment, like a wallpaper. Huh. Ah, the Nintendo 64 days when you never saw loading screens. And that was basically the only upside of being on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> House of the Know-It-All Brothers. Can I rob your house too? Uh, I can see that, that those pots are 3D objects, because they're not part of the singular texture that is the environment. Do you want to know how to use the up button? If you press the up button, you can change your view. In a place like this, it will switch to a top-down view. Outdoors, in a, in a field, for example, it'll switch to a first-person perspective. Also, when Navi is displayed on the upper right of your screen, the Navi fairy wants to talk to you. Using up will listen to her. Hey, listen. Poink. If you want to learn about the map and items, just ask me. But don't ask unless you want to hear a long explanation. What do you want to know about... No. I think I can figure it out, probably. Controls are more concerning than what items are. Or how the map works, probably. Well, just remember this. If you want to save, press Start. And go to the sub-screens and press B. So, Start. Oh yeah, here's my, here's my, uh... Weird, it's almost like a GameCube interface, what you'd expect. Back w that brief time when Nintendo was obsessed with being on a square menu. Okay. That'll all make sense later. There's my inventory screens. There's my map. We hit save. There we go. I did it. I did a save. Ah. And charge. Oh, missed. I need to find a sword so I can destroy everybody's pottery. I can teach you about the icons at the top of the screen. Uh, no, I think I figured that stuff out already. Oh, I have to. Okay, yellow icons. Three yellow icons in the upper right are called the C icons. They display the things you can use with this, those buttons. Once you get a C button item, and you go into the select item subscreen and set it to one of the three C buttons. Okay. Let's find our sword. Forest Training Center. Don't be rec don't recklessly cut signs. Read them carefully. Oh, you can cut signs. Thrust attack signs. To thrust with your sword, press forward and while Z targeting and press B. I don't have a weapon. Time to continue looking for the weapon. That's where I live. Can you tell me what to do? What? Neither won't let you go in to see the great Deku tree. Oh, that bum. I don't know why he's always so mean to everyone. What he said is true, though. The forest, strange things have been happening here lately. You need to be ready for anything. You'd better find a weapon. You can buy a shield at the shop. There's only one sword hidden somewhere in the forest. Okay, so you can buy a shield at the shop. Let's find the shop. Sorry, his house. More heart containers. Or not heart containers, but hearts. Could she be some kind of love interest character? Is that why there's a billion hearts in her house? How about you? House the twins. Okay. Am 
My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store. That has the red roof. Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one, blue is worth five, and red is worth twenty, which the game tells you when you get them, so I'm, I'm, I'm on board with that much. Were the numbers the same in Breath of the Wild? I forget a little bit. I didn't have to think about it, really, because I would just pick up rupees, and it'd be like, you got the rupees, and that was the whole situation, really. <laughs> so this should be the shop, right? Hi, Brick, look this way. Look over here with Z, and talk to me with A. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. Before then, you could have never talked to me when I was up here. And if I was stuck up here in a tree, and like, my life was in danger, and nobody had a fairy on hand, I couldn't tell anybody. Because we have a really insane way of interacting with each other. <laughs> I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. You anti-social creep. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press Z to look in that direction. If you use Z targeting, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing that you can target, you can press Z just to look forward. Try it! Without Z, you can't ever look forward, which is really a problem for, like, any creature that's alive. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the shimmy. Kokiri shop. We have original forest goods. So can I get a shield for 11? I would guess no. But let's try anyway. Welcome. Alright. Let's try shopping. Whoa. That's a familiar sound. They probably used that at some point during Mario 64 or something. Okay, so take your nuts. They stun your enemies. But you can only buy 10, or you can only buy enough to carry, but 10 at a time. There's a stick. You can use it as a weapon, but it will break. That's familiar. Arrows. Pretty much know what those are, but you can't. You need a bow to buy them. Deku Seed. They're bullets for your slingshot. You can't buy them unless you have a slingshot. Recovery Heart. Okay, so my top goal is to get the shield, which apparently costs 40. So that's the, really the primary goal here. Can't really afford anything else. Might want a stick, perhaps? Let's buy a stick. Oh yeah, I got a stick. Wait, you set it to C and swing it with C? With C. Weird. You can equip, oh, you can equip 10 sticks. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. I thought it would just be a melee weapon. But instead of just being a melee weapon, it's like a thing you equip as an item? Oh, weird. It's a quantity item and everything. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oops, I didn't even mean to save. Gotta get straight the A, B switch for Nintendo consoles compared to everybody else. If I want to swing it, I swing- I press right on the joystick. Huh. Strange. Strange that's not just a melee weapon that you can equip instead of like a sword or something. Okay, so we need to find money. Um, do you have money? Oh, you have a fairy now? That's great, Brick. What? You've been called by the great Deku tree? What an honor. He may give you a special gift. That's because the great Deku tree is our father, the forest guardian. And he gave life to all of us, Kokiri. Oh, there's some money. Just in the tall grass. Oh, that didn't work out. I should try to get up. Yeah, there's, there's a blue rupee up there. Might as well try to figure out how, how to get up there. Ladder goes over here. Number uh, bridge. So I need to go around here. Trying to get used to the fact that I can't just rotate the camera with the right stick. It's such a strange feeling. Here we go. Oh, no. 
All right, we'll try again. <laughs> gonna have to get movement down. Also, can I reasonably use this as a weapon to, to get through this stuff, or is it gonna break the stick, or... It doesn't work. Whoop. Okay. Wow, holy crap. Either you're a nightmare Hulk monster, or that is the softest rock ever. Like, talc. Is this entire environment filled with talc? There we go. Whoa, I did not know you were here. That's terrifying. Hello. You came all the way up here? You're a real man. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with up on, on the sea pad so you can look around the forest with the stick. Ah. Ah. That goes up somewhere. That's a weird box cut out of there. More heart containers. Those are the ones from earlier. Still can't do much of anything there, probably. Yep. This reminds me of a certain Korok Seed situation. Hey, by the stone, pick it up! Hey, by the stone, pick it up! Mean old Mito, he made me pick up the rocks in front of his house. How, how does... How, why do you do things that he tells you to do? You could just not do them. It's easy. I, I don't do things all the time. I don't do most things. <laughs> Money. Oh, oh. The rock came out of the one that I threw in a weird direction that I didn't see. Whoops. Hey, money. Ooh, more money. Oh. I can't grab his rock. That... phrasing. Can I jump up here? Alright, so jumping's automated. You just walk up to things and it kinda happens. Oh! Sneaky. We'll make our way up to 40. Very... gradually. Alright, I should probably say, I'm probably not going to... I'll probably just not read the comments on this series. Because, uh... I know there will be... there will be, The backseat gaming will be fierce. As this is one of the most played childhood games ever made? Lost Woods, my favorite song from a Zelda game. This statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. I figure if I read comments, it'll spoil the sanctity of a, of a blind playthrough because everyone's overplayed this game way too much, and I'm the I'm the cherished secret person that somehow hasn't played it yet. But also, also all the cr comments about cringing and whatnot will just keep put me in a bad mood. So it's just best not to, much like the Mist games. Okay, I've been in very similar situations to this this before. Oh, that didn't work. The forward loops you back. Alright. They all look the same. They all sound the same. Oh. The right takes you to this screen. Strange one. Oh yeah, there we go. On our way to 40. Oh, you weren't- hi. How you doing? Having a good time? Ah, crap, sorry. Um... I lose track of Z-targeting? Oh, the fairy's not floating by them, so I can't talk to them. Right. Z doesn't apply here. Okay. Please let me talk to them. Navi? Oh, there we go. It's 
skull kid. Is this what happens to kids who get lost in the forest? He might be our friend if we do something. Nope, same dialogue. Is this suggesting they want something? For now, I've got basically nothing, so let's move on. So I came from this way, so we can try the back direction. Okay. This is a new one. So I take it you can't pick these, but the fact that they're even giving me the option means that we'd probably get the option at some point to try. I mean, you seem like a victory. You're a special doorway. What? All right, Link, climb. It just takes a second climb. You did it a second ago. All right. Apparently the Lost Woods connect, connect to Goron City. That's surprising. Try the one by the rock. All right, we just need to dive down and find out how this... Oh. You can only dive down for like three seconds, though. Okay, so we're not getting those rupees. Uh oh. That means I've made a mistake. Went this way. Then we went this way. So which way did I go when I lost? It was it was that way, right? Oh, green fairy. No, that's my fairy. Dancing around green for some reason. I can't seem to talk to her. Nope. Bad choice. I don't hear any audio cues, so I guess it's kind of process elimination. Does left go anywhere, or is it... The, oh, it goes somewhere too. It's another Skull Kid. Hi. Love me? Same dialogue as before. This game really threatens you with the idea of what'll happen if you get lost in the forest. Which is weird, because if you walk around the wrong way for two seconds, you get warped back to the beginning, so accordingly. According to what we've seen so far. Something goes there, probably. That stone probably gives me some kind of hint, right? Oh. That's not very nice. I'm gonna talk this thing real quick. The statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. Hurt. See, right now I don't have a lot of reason to fight that thing. Oh, does it run away? Oh, does it hide from me? Business scrub? If you get close to it, it'll hide in the grass. Business scrub, what an amazing name. I could have hit it with the stick, but I don't really have a reason to. I could just leave. Can I not get off? Oh, it's because I was locked on. And your character doesn't want to fall off cliffs during combat. That makes sense. I think they used the ex... The wa this climbing cycle reminds me of... Uh, I think they might have gone with the same general approach in... Uh, in Star Fox Adventures? He said he had this weirdly deliberate uh, climbing animation that stands out to me. So I think I'm back at the beginning now. Yep. Haven't tried this way yet. And now I know not to. <laughs> okay.
So we go right. And we go left. It's interesting how many games have done this exact sequence before in their games. Oh. Wow. I was guessing all the right directions the first time around, pretty much. Deviating from that original path has mostly led to, uh... Just getting warped back. So if that's the Goron City, we're done with that. And that way was a dead end, and over there... Can I do anything, like, behind the pedestal or something? Nope. So we go left at this, then. Oh god, where did I go last time? Try right? Uh oh. Alright, now we're gonna try to remember which directions which for that specific room. Right. Left. Right. Left. Very easy sequence to remember so far, actually. But right didn't work, so straight. Okay. Another rock. Right. Nope. Back in we go, then. Right. Left. Right. Left. Straight. Straight. Nope. Back in we go. Right. Left. Right. Left. Straight. Left. Straight. I don't trust it. How do you know where the threshold is? Can I test it? <laughs> Try to see if I can trick it without it going back. Ah, oh, crap. Takes were made. It's a surprisingly long sequence of uh, directions. That's right. Left. Right. Left. Straight. Left. Straight. Nope. <laughs> Here we go again. All right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Straight. Gotta remember where I am here. Left, right. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, I tried all these directions. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I lost again. Oh, yeah, more money. Uh, uh, wolf monsters and a closed gate. Ah, oh, crap. This was all a mistake. I wasn't even supposed to go this way, apparently. Okay, nope, go away. <laughs> go away. Go away, nightmare Castlevania 64 thing. Aha, I have a stick. Okay, and so we lost. The so we learned that going into the Lost Woods is a terrible idea and not where the sword is located. Part of me, the part of me that played Banjo Kazooie wants to crouch right now and slide down this thing because that's how he reacts to, to crouching on slopes. Oh. Alright then. Let's try the other path. Forest folk shall not leave these woods. 
You are not allowed to leave the forest. The great Deku tree said that if a Kokiri leaves the woods, he or she will die. Great. So there's two doors you can't even leave. What a pleasant place to live. My favorite part is the complete and, under, and utter uh, repression. Cut the grass with your sword. I don't have a sword. I can't pick him up. What? Who's targeting? Oh, they just want me to, to do that. I should probably double check what it's saying just to see what else it says. Cause I, I kind of figured out how to switch, but there might be more because that was actually a long one. If you see an icon above an object, you can target it with Z. In other words, if you press the Z when you see the thing above an object, you can lock onto it. Oh shit! If you press it again, you uh, you will your lock will either release or it will transfer into the next object with a thing above it. When you have many enemies in your field of view, you want to escape. Uh, press Z while holding back. That's what I need to know. You can target the stones for practice. That's what I was wondering, is you can toggle. I need to figure out how to leave. That's that's what you do, is you run backwards. Hole of Z. Let's go through the small hole. Stand in front of the hole and press forward towards it when the action... Press enter, yeah. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Hello, fairy man. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while Z-targeting, press A as you move left or right. Do a backflip, press back. Do a roll attack, press forward. No, A. Yeah, okay. If you have your sword ready while Z-targeting, you can do a jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack does double damage. You can do Z-targeting on the stone next to me, so let's practice. Yeah, pretty much what I picked up on at first. Here we go. So what are you hiding in here? Is it a shield? I mean a sword. So we know where the shield is. Viewpoint is Z targeting. When you have no object to look at, you can just look forward to Z. We're, we're told that already, yep. Help you get oriented. Quite convenient. If you hold down and walk sideways. Yep. Walking sideways. Oh! Thought I was gonna die. Visit the house of Know It All Brothers to get answers to all your item related questions. Ah! 